Told you. Good morning, Los Angeles. Just got to Westchester Skate Plaza. I'm meeting up with Dan. I think Zach's coming out today as well. We're gonna skate, park for a bit, then we're gonna hit some street spots. Yeah, if you ain't ever been here before, this is basically Westchester Skate Plaza slash park or whatnot. It's really funny. Um, they got this beautiful ledge here, and then the ledge that goes out to the footpath, they've put some skate stoppers on it. Very plaza-like, very little transition. I mean, the only transition here is that flat bank over there. Um, there's like a stage slash mani pad thing, the flat ledge in the middle, some hubbers, a little flat bank kicker thing. I think it's a five set over here, could be wrong. Oh no, it's a five, two hubbers down the side. Um, yeah, but this is where we're going to start our day off this morning. We're heading to this green ledge spot that I've always wanted to skate, so I'm pretty keen to skate it. So yeah, I just got to find where Dan is and then we'll get right into today's session. There's Daniel. I'm not too sure what's going on there. I think he might have like a seized bearing or something. If anyone's wondering, the Jack Purcells are riding really well. I've just got to glue it up. Like I started gluing my shoes up before every session, like the night before. So that's how you keep them fresh. So then you don't have to worry about busting a hole through the side, but you just got to worry about the soles flattening it out. Flattening out, my bad. So I set up this 838, right? This is an 838 and I had some hollow 159. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll chuck those on. I'll chuck my other standards on my other board. And these are the rules that I left in uh, hand sanitizer overnight. And um, they worked well for a bit, but now they're like dead slow. Like they might not sound it or look it, but like when you're rolling on the concrete, they're so slow. I'm not having a fun time. Every time I'm on a session skating, like I make sure I have breakfast before I leave the house, but it's like an hour and a half drive up to LA. So once I get here, I skate for like an hour, then like bang, I get hungry and I start to feel like sleepy. So like I gotta make sure I eat. So just hit this spot down the road. It's like a vegan, they're called poke bowls here in Australia. They're called, I don't know, sushi bowls, but yeah, I just hit this joint down the road. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a, they have a vegan option, so I'm gonna rip into this and then get back into skating today, get some clips for you guys, but yeah, check it out. It's my lunch today. A lot of greens. Very excited to eat this meal. That was a good five. Sometimes you just dig into this lad, it's like dirty. Yeah. Whoa, toe side crook. You know what I'm just realizing? I feel like this might be the same material that they use on the barracks ledge. Like it seems like a similar color and stuff, but the difference is since this is outdoor, it gets that thick sand on it, whereas the indoor one doesn't. Maybe that's the big difference. Whoa, toe side crook. I knew you were gonna land that one. We'll do the 5-0 now and it's technically still on the line. Tail hand plant. Oh! 
Front tail? Oh. Well, that's a make. <laughs> Easy peasy first try. I forgot. I forgot it was a line. Front board redemption? No, no. Evil. Oh, keep it going. seen you do a nose manual. That was sick. Whatever. YouTube. YouTube. All right, they got these hubbas here. So I'm saying you should 50-50 it, 5-0 it, smith it, smith 180, and tail slide. That's what I'm calling for you. Oh, tricks. Yeah, do all those tricks. And do them now. Do them okay. now. Oh, maybe you can do them all in a row. Maybe he'll just rifle them off. How sick would that be? I got some confidence in him. He's pretty good. He's wearing a not thrasher shirt. First try. Yeah, I thought that was a Thrasher shirt. I'm so glad it's not. Yeah, super radical. Is that a skate shop? Uh, it's a brand. It's skating-ish. Sort of skating-ish with a Thrasher logo. Now that's what I like to hear. When it has a Thrasher logo and has nothing to do with skateboarding. Because Thrasher also has nothing to do with skateboarding. Um, what do you think you should do? I'm saying probably 5L. Probably do it first try. Oh, you piece of shit. Next try. So solid. I'm gonna try front Smith. Front Smith? And then front Tyler's in it. I'd like to see Smith 180 too. Oh. Yeah. You out. Yeah, you got 180 out first try. Yeah. In a line. Yeah, what do you predict? I think he's gonna kick out. Nope, stuck. Too far this way. You got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> next try. Yeah. You. It's a line. I thought for sure you're gonna try back big spin. You got learning those. You get it to front tail the hubba? I should have asked Zach while he's here. Oh yeah, he's got the really good. First try. He did every trick I requested. That's what I like to say. That was sick. Thank you, sir. He's saying he's gonna do front over crook on this ledge. Over crook, front side on this ledge is what he's saying he's gonna do. A front side. Overcrook on this sled. It's like that, no? Front side overcrook is what he's gonna do on this sled. He said. Let's see how it turns out. His words, not mine. Front side overcrook. Here we go. Sean's been killing it lately. I don't know what that is. Uh, nose grind 180? I don't know. Oh, yeah, go up. Oh, trick down, trick down. Gap skater. <laughs> this video, I wanted to talk about having confidence and skating with conviction. Sometimes, like I was saying to Zach earlier, I said, like, 
when I first came out to skate with you guys, like the Powell team, I was shy. Like I knew I could do tricks, but I was like worried. Cause I didn't want to like, I don't know. You're worrying about people judging you and stuff about skating, but then you figure out no one really cares. But it definitely does help if you skate with like more confidence in your head and conviction. Like you throw down and you're like, this is the one. So, I find that helps me out anyway. And skating with better people, so. Blind I mean, confidence. Yeah. But definitely having a crew of like people that are better than you at skating and skating with them just helps you so much. Because you ask a bunch of questions and you learn all these new tricks to the tricks, as I said before, but yeah, pretty much it. I'm looking at these two hubbers over here. You gonna, you gonna jump on one? Uh, maybe. You should at least 50-50 it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. What do you think? Front Smith backs at 360 out this try? He's so good. It feels soft. They, they go. These actually go. Every time we come here, Dale Nolly knows grinds it. And he sucks at skating, so you got. When you were doing when you're doing that fakey hill, you're landing right in the middle. It's like gravel. Yeah, it's not bad over here. The ground's yeah. decent when on the you hubbers. Come out here, you're landing on still somewhat smooth ground. Yeah. Compared to there. East coast in the middle, California on the side. <laughs> kind right, of midwesty right here. I'll try a 50. Okay, go I'm for it. It's gonna be sticky though. No, you're gonna go. You I'm hundred percent positive you will not stick. hundred percent. No chance in hell you're sticking. Oh, I accidentally filmed that. <laughs> in the background, you'll see him do front nose, nollie heel to Feggy. Yeah, I mean, I was doing the other day. I don't know why this makes me think like. A lot of people do that. Yeah. Mark Gonzalez used to do that too. It and, just uh, helps me like figure out the feel of the ledge. John Cardiel would always walk yeah. down handrails before he tried them. Really? Like yeah. That. Here. Yeah, you're gonna do it like first go, I think. There's no way you're gonna overshoot. You're just gonna land it. Okay, you're only allowed two roll ups. You got. I'm just gonna take my time and pop on it. Yeah, you got it all day. That's your last run up. Now you have to go for it, no matter what. Told you. Easy. That wasn't as bad as I thought, but. The mental block, again, remember how you're at that cusp of yeah. fear and yeah. confidence? You just kind of got to blindly, like. So, since I think you did that. that. another YouTuber. No, he's not. Yeah. Oh, oh that dude over there. Oh. Yeah. I swear so, that's Ashton. I don't know what he's last name is. You gonna five o the hubber or five o? I want it front board. Okay, front board. Do you reckon that'll work? Yeah, definitely. Oh, nah, you won't stick. Oh, Told you you weren't gonna stick. Next try, you got. Oh! Next try. There it is. <laughs> Next try. Turn out. Yeah. yeah, Sean. We gotta find you a street rail to front board now. Uh, the one yesterday was pretty bad. Nah, that was a good one to do it on. Cheers, bro. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. What's, what's the app called again? So, uh, this one's the Skate Spot app. Skate Spots app. This isn't the one that I paid for the password for people. Oh, is there no? Oh, do I have it on airplane mode? What? Oh. I accidentally turned my internet off because I'm what you would refer to as a moron. <laughs> okay, now it's the green ledges. Here they are. Ah, oh, the green beauties. How far are we off? Um, Good country mile. Country mile, eh? Let's see. <laughs> Five miles for 17 minutes. Oh, let's, easy. Let's hit it. East. Oh man, what a buzzkill. I might just buy a, like a broom and a little handle pan and a broom. What You know what I mean? Those little things just to keep in the car. So when we do have the opportunity to skate spots like this, I just got bird poo on my phone. I left on the ground just here. When we get the opportunity to skate spots like this, sometimes they need a little bit of grooming. They need waxing, they need like sweeping, which is fine because you end up having a better session that way. Just to give you guys a better look, you know, here you can go over the step around the corner, but there's just these sticks everywhere. 
that have fallen off the trees and it looks like this spot's had a fair bit of bondo too which is sick some here some over there but yeah you can tell this spot's well skated they've capped the ends i don't know why they didn't cap in the center it's really weird oh blunt dude you're a blunt slide type of guy i've done blunt slide around the corner to that nose grind pop out wow what a fun little spot but yeah, like I said, if I had my broom in the car, this place would be groomed in like, you know, a few minutes. I'd have it all groomed. Oh my. Nice. I want to learn that trick, but it's just... It's actually... all in your, They're not that bad. Is it like locking in a front tail? Because people say you can front tail, you just lock it a front tail on the side. You just gotta not be able to... Not be afraid to put your body weight this way. Oh, That's in. That's all it is. Okay. That's the trick. Like yeah, there. I know. I was just saying, if I had a broom, it would be set, but you know, I come out broomless today. I know. Oh, yeah, you can get to that bend for sure. How did that stick? My weight, stupid. Your body weight was wrong? Yeah. Next try. I landed. Oh yeah, you gotta over rotate a little. Just put your stand up on that bad boy, it'll go. A little further. Try a trick on the way back. Ooh, that was spicy. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Oh. Oh. You're right? Yeah, I'm good. It just looked bad. I feel like you definitely stuck. It's my heel. I swear you're sticking. So all you Sydney Gronks that want a fresh aid at waxing spots, Legit, come out to California, it's all waxed up. That's how everyone gets tricks out here. Not like Sydney, everyone's like, just go faster. Yeah, going faster. What if you fall? You scrape exactly. your knee? Yeah, sometimes things just won't slide, so definitely a little bit of wax goes a long way. Yeah, band-aids don't grow on trees. <laughs> there you go, you got. I mean, you hit the corner. Oh! Front tail or front nose the faggy? Yeah. If you slide it good, I don't dislike it. Or actually, if you front nose the faggy on a handrail, I'm like, ooh, I think that's sick. I don't know. We're still gone. Back 50, then crook fakey, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Ran out of ledge. Come back. Come back. These tail slides are getting way better just from trying it around that corner. That tail slide was so solid. They all, that's like if you're trying a trick and you like failed 12 times, it all adds up and you get a better feel of the trick. So don't let it discourage you. Yeah. Front shove. 
Do it now. I meant 50 50 front drive. We're done. Oh, okay. Yeah, so pretty much the topic of this video was being able to skate with confidence and conviction. Like, um, there was a dude shredding at Westchester Park, the dude with the beanie. Mm. But, like, when you seen him roll in at his tricks, his face was, like, so, like... Oh, yeah, he's very stern with his yes, facial expressions. Yes, very stern, and, like, even his body language was very, like, I've got this, I'm ready to go. I think it's important. Because someone commented, like, Sean, you should skate with a bit more confidence. And it's, like, naturally, I'm a shy person, like... As I said earlier, being able to skate with all these dudes out here has definitely helped my skating confidence grow and like helped me progress because I kind of have that thought in my mind where I'm like, yeah, I can do this, I got it. Whereas like, I don't know, skateboarding is a mental game. Like even rolling up to that front tail, I was scared, but I was just like, in my head, I was like, all right, I just got to get in and push it and hold on. And for some reason, like there's small little nuances that happen that I'm like, if I bail this or that, but if I think too much about like bailing, I'm going to bail. But if I think a lot about like just sticking it, it usually ends up working out. I don't know if it's the same for you. Like, Yeah, no, I think, um, I think it's not a coincidence that cocky people tend to be really good at skating. Yeah. Okay. Like if you think of like some of the best skaters and you like meet them in person and I'm not going to say any names, but like, <laughs> like there's some skaters that yeah. you're just like, makes sense that you land everything because you yeah. just are you just like i'm the f shit i'm gonna do yeah. this trick yeah uh, and it, it you know being a shy person is yeah. probably harder for it you is. to get that it is yeah uh, and i i'm not a very ballsy guy myself i'm i'm repetition like i just get really good at a trick until it's not scary anymore i'm not okay. one i don't hail mary anything yeah like i'm yeah. never like oh, i'm just gonna go for it yeah, like i have yeah. to i have to be pretty confident of course yeah um but yeah i mean you can fake it till it works like you can fake uh beat your confidence and try to be like overly confident and eventually i think it'll become more true yeah you know i mean but just having that like because for me i was shy like the first time i skated the power crew i was like i couldn't get tricks i normally could get because in the back of my mind i was like everybody's watching me like Really? Yeah. And that was and, making you more nervous and made you suck even more. It was yeah. Like, oh, what a vicious cycle. And then now, like, I'm able to skate with, like, you and Zach, and I'm just chill about it. And, like, yeah. if I want to learn something, I'm like, hey, well, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? Yeah, I not only that, you're like, hey, Dan or Zach, film this. <laughs> dude. Yeah, it becomes so much more of a, like, I don't know, a vibe when you're skating with good people. Yeah. I, I, I prefer to skate with good people. It's just really yeah. hard for me to do because no one's better than me in the entire world. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I search, like, hell and high water, and they just don't exist. But yeah, I just wanted to touch base on that because I know there's other younger kids that skate and they get a bit shy skating at new parks, around new people, they become intimidated. I mean, rolling up to a new park and there's locals, you're going to feel a bit like, yeah, you know, you're in their kind of territory a little bit. But, but also f*** their territory, it's a public skate park. Yeah, that's what I mean. And we're all doing the same thing there, we're all skating around. Yeah, if someone's vibing you out, as long as they're not physically touching you, like f*** them. Like yeah, skate. yeah. Uh, there's definitely been, like, there's definitely times where I'll be at a skate park and I'll be, like, skating and there's, like, kids in my way. And I have to constantly remind myself, like, hey, it's just as much their park as it is my park. Yeah. It's just a matter of, like, long as you have common sense and stay out of people's way. Like, if you get in someone's way, I see this all the time. Someone will get in someone's way and then they'll get, like, really awkward and sometimes they'll just, like, sit down for a while. Like, don't sit down. Keep skating. But yeah, just yeah. Learn your lesson. Like, then now you got to yeah. stay out of that person's way. Yeah. And it never, like, park etiquette goes a long way, too. Like, if someone's board flicks out, if you're close to it, just, like, sling it back to them or pick it up and give it to them. Like, it goes a long way. It know? really does. Because really there's some does. dudes that, like, it happens in Sydney a lot. You go skate a park and, like, someone that's, like, you know, cruising around the park like this, like, they'll kick their board out and you'll give it back to them and they won't say a word. Well, it's like, damn, man, all right. Here's, an, here's another thing, actually, I, I just thought of. If, you're, if you feel like you're getting kind of vibed out or whatever uh don't be afraid to like start up a conversation with someone like if you see like the cool kids or whatever like just like some small yeah. talk or compliment them and then if you do get in their way it's gonna be that much harder for them to be a dick to you yeah because yeah, now 100%. now you're no longer a stranger at a skate park who they don't have zero feelings for now that they've had a conversation you are a human being breaks that ice yeah, yeah exactly so it's like oh this this person actually exists so i'll acknowledge yeah. them more so that's like when i was watching that dude at westchester i was like oh man and then i heard him talk and i'm like he sounds like he's like pretty all right he doesn't yeah. sound like a dick oh his his face like the way he yeah. skates is like very like i'll f***ing kill you yeah yeah but then he talks like... and he's just like yeah skating you know yeah. you know <laughs> But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I want to touch base on because I know kids are like worried to skate 
new spots and new parks around new people even dudes that have like picked up skating again in their 20s that skated as a teenager bought a board and they're trying to get back into it but they don't feel completely comfortable going to a park you know so. yeah you just go out there if you're a girl skater if yeah, you're a kid exactly. skater if yeah. you're a trans skater if you have anything that makes you stand out or you feel uncomfortable dressing the way that you want to dress uh just just send it and yeah. like I think like it's sort of like an exposure therapy thing. Like just push yeah. yourself out there, and then you'll get used to it, and then they'll get used to you. Uh, it's definitely harder for certain people with certain situations, but mm. you know, do your best. You know, yeah. just just try to get out there because skateboarders. Skateboarding is for everybody. Yeah, and it can be like a pretty inclusive group, but it can also yeah. be a very. It can go both ways. If if it's clicky people there, screw those people. Usually, yeah. skateboarders are pretty open minded though to people coming to the park. Yeah. Or at least I'd like to think they are. Hopefully, you know. Yeah. It's just so weird to see the difference between here and, like, Sydney. But, <laughs> People are more know. vibey there. Well, it sounds like oh, Sydney's less, more like the East Coast. Yeah, they're very, like... Like, here, if you see someone going for a trick and then um, they take, like, a few tries at it, then they get it. Woo! Yeah. In Sydney, it's just, like... Just... Really? Yeah. That's so funny. And this, yeah, I don't know. Pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully, I gave you guys some type of insight into how I kind of think about skateboarding. Maybe you guys can relate. Naturally, I'm a pretty shy person. I'm very introverted. So being able to go out and skate around new people has always been quite challenging for me. But that's how I kind of broke through that barrier, just kind of not worrying about what other people think and just trying to have fun on my skateboard. So hopefully you guys can relate. I've been keeping some of these videos pretty raw. It's just easier just to shoot and edit and then chuck it up for you guys to watch. I mean, everyone's here to watch skateboarding anyway. So there's a ton of skateboarding. Sometimes it's even more funner watching raw clips than it is a whole, with a whole bunch of editing and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch all of y'all in the next one. Ooh. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. It just looked bad.